Hello students, welcome to Fun with Study. In this video, we will solve chapter 5 squares and square roots exercise 5.3 question number 6. So look at this question. For each of the following numbers, find the smallest whole number by which it should be divided so as to get a perfect square. Also, find the square root of the square number so obtained. So here there are some numbers given and that numbers are not a perfect square. Now the question is by which number it should be divided so as to get a perfect square. In the last question what we did, we multiplied the number and we got a perfect square but in this uh, it is a reverse case. In this we have to divide that number. Okay and then we have to find square root and square number also. Okay. So look at question 1, 252. So first let's find prime factors of 252. This is an even number. So we'll divide this by 2. We'll write here 1. 5 will not come in the table of 2. 4 will come 2 times. 1 left. 1 to 12. 12 comes 6 times. Okay. Now this is divisible by 2, 12 will come 6 times and 6 will come 3 times. Now as this number is an odd number, so this number will not go by 2, uh, this is divisible by 3. So in the table of 3, 6 will come 2 times and 3 will come 1 time. Again this is divisible by 3, 7 times and 7 is divisible by 7, 1 time. Okay, so look here. Now we can find pairs, there is a pair of 2, pair of 3 but we don't have pair of 7. So this number left, what we are going to do now, we will divide 7. Okay, so the question was find the smallest whole number by which it should be divided. So it should be divided by 7 because this number don't have any pair. Okay. It must be divided by 7. Okay. So what is 252 divided by 7? 21 will come 3 times. 4 left. 42. So 42 comes 6 times. 6 times. So, 252 divided by 7 is 36. Now, the next question is also find the square root of the square number so obtained. So, we got the square root number. The square number is 36. Now, we will find square root. Square root of 36. So, square root of 36 is 6. Because 6 into 6 is 36. We are not going to do this LCM method because we know square root of 36 is 6. Now we will do the next question. Question 2. 2925. Okay, so first let's find prime factors of this number. This number is not divisible by 2 because this is an odd number. So let's check whether this is divisible by 3. So to check if the number is divisible by 3, what we'll do, we'll add all the numbers. 2 plus 9 is 11. 11 plus 2 is 13. 13 plus 5 is 18. And 18 is divisible by 3. Okay. So how many times it will go? In the table of 3, 29 will not come. 27 will come 9 times. Here 2 left. 2 to 22. Again 22 will not come. 21 will come 7 times. 1 left. 1 by 15. And 15 will go 5 times. Okay. Now let's check whether this is divisible by 3. 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 plus 5 is 21. Yes, this will go by 3. So, 9 will come 3 times. 7 will not come. 6 will come 2 times. 1 left, 
वन फाइव फिफ्टीन एंड इन द टेबल ऑफ थ्री फिफ्टीन विल कम फाइव टाइम्स ओके नाउ दिस इज नॉट डिविजिबल बाई थ्री बिकॉज थ्री प्लस टू इज फाइव एंड फाइव प्लस फाइव इज टेन टेन विल नॉट गो ओके सो दिस विल गो दिस इज डिविजिबल बाई फाइव बिकॉज योर द यूनिट डिजिट वन डिजिट इज फाइव ओके सो थर्टी टू विल नॉट कम थर्टी विल कम सिक्स टाइम्स टू लेफ्ट टू फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव सो ट्वेंटी फाइव विल कम फाइव टाइम्स अगेन दिस इज डिविजिबल बाय फाइव वन टाइम वन लेफ्ट फिफ्टीन विल कम थ्री टाइम्स एंड थर्टीन इज डिविजिबल बाय ओनली थर्टीन ओके बिकॉज दिस इज अ प्राइम नंबर ओके नाउ वी हैव अ पेयर ऑफ थ्री फाइव बट वी डोंट हैव पेयर ऑफ थर्टीन हियर ओके सो दिस नंबर मस्ट बी डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टीन टू गेट अ परफेक्ट स्क्वेर ओके सो टू थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवाइड बाय थर्टीन इज लेट्स डिवाइड हियर ट्वेंटी सिक्स विल कम टू टाइम्स थ्री नेक्स्ट नंबर इज टू थर्टीन ट्वेंटी सिक्स अगेन टू टाइम्स सिक्स लेफ्ट फाइव सिक्सटी फाइव विल कम फाइव टाइम्स सो आफ्टर डिवाइडिंग वी गेट टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड नाउ स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव इज फिफ्टीन बिकॉज फिफ्टीन टाइम्स फिफ्टीन इज टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव Now we'll solve the next question. Question three. Question three. Three hundred ninety-six. Prime factors of three hundred ninety-six. This is divisible by two. Three will not come. Two will come one time. One left. One nine nineteen. So again nineteen will not go. Eighteen will come. Nine times. One left and sixteen will come. Eight times. Now we'll write here two. Nineteen will not come. Eighteen comes nine times. One left, and again eighteen comes nine times. Now ninety-nine will not go by two. This is divisible by three, thirty-three times, and thirty-three is again divisible by three, eleven times, and eleven is divisible by eleven one time. So pair of two, pair of three, but we don't have pair of eleven. by which number we have to divide this to get a perfect square is 11 because we don't have pair of 11 here now we'll divide we get 36 and now we'll find square root because so in this question there are two questions being asked first um, by which number it should be divided and second we have to find the square root of the square number so square root of 36 is uh, 6 because 6 into 6 is 36 now we'll solve fourth question Two thousand six hundred forty-five. So let's find prime factors. Uh, this is an odd number, so this will not go by two. Let's check whether this is divisible by three. Two plus six is eight. Eight plus four is twelve, and twelve plus five is seventeen. Um, and seventeen will not go by three. This will. This is divisible by five because one digit is five. Unit digit is five. Now twenty six will not come in the table of five. Twenty five will come five times. One left. Fourteen again. Fourteen will not come. Ten will come two times. Four left and forty five will come nine times. Now. This is not divisible by two, three, five. 
529 is divisible by 23. Twenty three one time. Sorry, five twenty nine divided by twenty three is twenty three ones are twenty three, twenty three twos are forty six. So we'll write here forty six two times six nine and twenty three threes are is sixty nine. So five hundred twenty nine is only divisible by twenty three. 23 times and 23 is divisible by 23 one time so by which number it should be divided we have a pair of 23 here but we don't have pair of 5 here so it must be divided by 5 2645 divided by 5 is 25 comes 5 times 1 left 14 will not come 10 will come 2 times 4 left 45 will come uh, 9 times okay so after dividing we get 529 and now we'll find square root of 529 so square root of 529 is 23 because 23 into 23 is 529 okay so we completed this question we'll solve fifth question now question 5 2800 so first we'll find prime factors of 2800 this is an even number so this is divisible by 2 2 will come one time 8 will come four times and put two zeros now 1400 is divisible by 2 700 times because 14 will come seven times and we'll write two zeros here now 700 is divisible by 2 350 times again 350 is divisible by 2 2 will come one time um, 3 will not come, 2 will come 1 time, 1 left, 1, 5, 15 and 15 will not come, 14 will come 7 times, 1 left, 10 will come 5 times. Now, 175 is not divisible by 2 because this is an odd number. Let's check whether this is divisible by 3. 1 plus 7 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13 and 13 is not divisible by 3. So, this is divisible by 5 because here the unit digit, 1 digit is Five. Now, 17 will not come in the table of 5. 15 will come 3 times. 2 left, 2, 5, 25. 25 will come 5 times. Okay. Now, this is divisible by 5, 7 times. And 7 is divisible by 7, 1 time. So, we have a pair of 2. Again, 2. And we have a pair of 5. But we don't have pair of 7 here. So, this number must be divided by 7 because we don't have pair of 7. It must be divided by 7 to get a perfect square. Okay. So, 2800 divided by 7 is 400. Okay because 7 will come uh, because 28 will come 4 times and uh, we'll put 2 0 0 so now we'll find square root of 400 so square root of 400 is 20 20 into 20 is 400 so fifth question answer is 20 now let's solve the last question 1620 we'll find prime factors so this is an even number so this is divisible by 2 16 will come 8 times 2 will come 1 time and we will put 1 0 again this is divisible by 2 4 times 1 will not come in the table of 2 ok so we will put a 0 and 10 will come 5 times now this is not divisible by 2 this is divisible by 3 because 4 plus 5 is 9 and 9 is divisible by 3 so 3 will come 1 time, 1 left, 1 0 10, 
again 10 will not come 9 comes 3 times 1 left 1 5 15 and 15 will come 5 times again this is divisible by 3 uh, 13 will not come 12 will come 4 times 1 left 1 5 15 will come 5 times Okay, divisible by 3 15 times 3 5 times and 5 1 time okay so we'll make pairs now pair of 2 3 3 and we don't have pair of 5 here so it must be divided by Five to get a perfect square okay so 1620 divided by 5 is 16 will not come 15 comes 3 times 1 left so in the table of 5 10, 12 will not come 10 comes 2 times 2 left will put will bring 0 down 20 will come uh, 4 times so 324 so 1620 divided by 5 is equals to 324 now we'll find square root of 324 so we'll find this by prime factorization method okay we are doing prime factorization only in this question only because in the in the previous questions we know the square root of 436 it was so easy so one time 1 left 12 will come 6 times and 4 will come 2 times 81 times this is divisible by 3 6 will come 2 times 2 left 27 again divisible by 3 9 times 3 3 times and 3 1 time so We'll write all the prime factors here. 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Okay. Now we have a pair of 2, 3 and 3. We'll take only one number from each pair. 2 into 3 into 3. 2, 3 is a 6. 6, 3 is a 18. So, square root of 324 is 18. With this we complete question 6 of exercise 5.3 in the next in the next video we will solve question 7 to 10. If you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.